Today in this documentary, we'll be talking about mentorship and how important and truly impactful it is on the youth of this generation. Specifically, we'll be talking about the Be The Change Mentorship Program at Safe MN. My name is Alfonso Mayfield. I am the founder and CEO of Safe Minnesota. The mission of Safe is changing the life of troubled youth through creating awareness, fostering mentorships, um, and providing safe and reliable housing. Why Safe MN started? Because mentorship is something I've been looking for my whole entire life. I mean, it's something that I know that's lacking, especially in, in the black community. Dads are absent, you know, sadly, um, and there's not a lot of males around um, as kids are growing up. And we need those role models in our lives um, in order for us to be our best selves. What I try to do is create just non-threatening fun environments for the mentors and mentees to interact. And through multiple activities and multiple interactions, we're hoping that those bonds and relationships start to form on their own. And naturally, when you're just around people enough, you know, again, you let those guards down, um, you open up a little bit more, and you just, you, you just tend to draw yourself towards people that you know, either you admire in some way or you have commonalities in, what, in whatever areas. Um, so we're hoping to create that as we're doing the matching process. My name is Reynardo Williams. The reason why I think mentors are, are very important because I think that it does give you an opportunity to have another individual who, who may have somewhat more uh, wisdom or knowledge to be able to still in someone younger. My name is Kenneth Scales. I chose to be a mentor because I realized in my adulthood that um, I never had a mentor growing up and I, I took it on as a responsibility as a, myself as an adult to pour into another young person um, coming up. I do think that more people should be a mentor, but I think it has to be in them to want to be a mentor. The mentees have to have the desire to want a mentor as well too, I think. But if you're rooted in the fact of uh, it being personally connected to you and you have a passion for it and a desire to want to build that connection, I think that it can be very healthy. I feel like more people should be mentors because I feel like with mentorship, again, it's like, it's almost like playing basketball. You know, you need a, a good coach. A lot of times we come up with different excuses why we can't mentor timing or I don't have enough money or things. You don't need none of that. You know, just really just being there as a peer, lovable heart, you know, to be there for the young people. What we like to say is we want our mentees making less mistakes than what we did, right? That's what a mentor is. I'm gonna pour into you, um, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna be there for you, I'm gonna show up for you, so you aren't making as many mistakes as I made, and you're also getting to where you wanna go in a, in a good and a healthy way. I know what mentorship is not just me giving, me talking, me saying you should do uh, this, but I'm also here to learn as well. And so I feel like there should be reciprocity in relationship. And so as much as uh, my mentee is learning from me, I'm learning a lot from my mentee. I feel like there's a few ways a mentor could change the youth life, one of which is to help guide them, uh, help encourage them, help push them to the next level. Um, whatever dream and goal that a mentee might have or will have, I feel like a mentor is able to seek those opportunities out for the mentee, you know, and help advocate for them so they can get exactly what they need. The advice I would have for youth who currently don't have mentors is I say find one. The sooner the better. I say it all the time that there are systems that aren't designed for us right school systems that aren't designed for us the the workforce that's not designed for us to to succeed so how do you navigate through that how do you navigate through a system that's not designed for you right if you match up with a mentor they can help you through those things so the sooner that you can get a mentor um, you'll be better off there are 46 million young people aged 8 through 18 living in america 16 million of them are growing up without a mentor that's one out of every three young people who outside of their family at home don't have a trusted adult who they look up to or can turn to for advice and guidance. With me I have two of our uh, mentees our Be The Change Mentorship Program. We have Jason to my right and we have Deshaun to my left. Um, we are really in the heart of North Minneapolis at uh, HWMR. Um, Barbershop, who is uh, owned by one of my good friends, Houston White, um, who is, you know, all about community, as you see the atmosphere here. I seen the first day, I was like, these new people, like, I don't know who, I don't know most of these people in there. I was like, kind of shocked. I was like, who are these people? I already had a relationship with Jason um, because I knew his mom I used to work with his mom. You know, he wasn't as hesitant as a lot of kids are his age, which, which I expected that, right? And part of the program and what we do is we, we, we meet the family wherever they want to, wherever they're comfortable at, um, whether at, at their house, 
um, which is what we did with Jason and his family, with Deshaun and his mom, we met them out at Caribou. Um, but when I first met Deshaun, he was, he's very quiet, just like he is right now. Um, but I, I can, you know, as I gotten to know him a little bit more, he, he's, he's more talkative now, but you can tell he was just kind of like, man, I don't know about this, but that's how the kids come into our program. It's expected. And even what I tell in the beginning is just give us a chance. And they both did. I'm involved in SAFE, and man, because Alfonso was a part of it, and then my mom went on Facebook and seen SAFE, and she was like, I want my son to be involved with SAFE. After I met Alfonso, it was, I liked him, so I'm like, I'm, like, I'm gonna give this a try. It teaches young African-Americans, if they didn't have a dad, they can have a mentor as a dad. Because my dad wasn't really in my life. Me having a mentor has affected my life because, like, I, I it, if he can do it, I can do it. Meaning, like, if he got to that place, I can, he's going to help me get to that place. It encouraged me to do more stuff in the future so I could change my plans. Mentoring creates meaningful connections that can positively impact the lives of both mentor and mentees. Those who receive mentorship are more likely to see improved academic, social, and economic prospects. Those who mentor are able to further build important leadership management and creative skills while giving back to their community. Do you have what it takes to become a mentor? Mentorship is awesome!